Before we start with today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Stacy for this super sick boomerang she took. Thank you so much for the support and now let's get into today's tutorial. If you guys don't already know, one of my favorite photographers is Bad Boy. He inspires me in so many ways that I just love the way he edits his photos. This is one of my favorite photos he's done and I love the film template so much. I think it's crazy good and I like how it complements and adds to his photos. So today we'll be learning how to make one. But first I'm going to take some new photos to use for this film template. Okay, now that I've taken new photos, I'm going to use the old film templates we've already created and I'm going to combine these to make the new film template for today. So I dragged a couple of the film templates onto this working tab and I made sure that the template colors were the same since one of them was black and the other one was more of a faded grayish color. From here, I just tried to figure out what layout would look good and I really tried to visualize the final template. I ended up getting rid of this black line because I wanted the box to be bigger so that the photo that goes there isn't too small. Which is why I ended up adding another box more towards the middle to make that box bigger. And then I brushed in this area to fill in the template. I ended up bringing in another template and I added it to the bottom of the photo to fill in the frame. It was a lot of me messing around and trying to figure out where things would look best. So at this point I knew I wanted to make these two big boxes the main photos for this template and the other two would be the smaller complementary photos. So I continue adding frames and here's the final template. Now for the cool part, we'll learn how to add this marker effect. To add this marker effect, the first thing we're gonna do is make a new layer. Now select the brush tool and go to this drop down menu and select this brush, which should be under the dry media brushes and the brush is called Kyle's Ultimate Charcoal Pencil. Then you guys can choose whatever brush size you'd like and I'm gonna use a size 50 brush. So this brush gives us a really cool texture effect when we use it. Now we can pick the brush color we want to use. And just like Bad Boy, we are now going to brush around the two main photos and it doesn't have to be the cleanest outlining. Even if it's sloppy, it kind of gives it an artistic look which still looks pretty cool. Now that we have the red borders, we are now going to make another new layer for the numbers and check marks. And I'm going to select the white brush again and I made the white brush just slightly smaller by clicking the open bracket on my keyboard. So I'm going to label each box with a number and to finish it off, I'm going to add a check mark to our two main photos. And there you guys have it, we now have that bad boy film template effect. And if you download the film template but don't know how to add your photos to it, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Once you've downloaded the film template and opened it up on Photoshop, the next thing you want to do is drag the four photos you'll be using onto this Photoshop tab. And then once you've done that, click enter for each photo so that resizing box goes away and then you guys should be good. Now that we have all our photos there, the next thing we will do is place the photos under the template layer so the template layer is now at the top. And if you know which two photos you like to make the main ones, I recommend placing those two photos at the bottom of the list. Now before we start resizing the photo, we are going to hide the other ones so we can focus on one photo at a time. Now to resize your photo, click command plus T on your keyboard and then we can start shrinking it or making it bigger depending on how it fits in our template. And once you find the perfect placement, you can go ahead and move on to the next photo. And now we're going to unhide the next photo we'll be working on and do the same thing. And you can see that this is kind of bleeding over to the other side of the border. So I'm going to make a layer mask and then use the marquee tool to make a box around the portion that I want to hide. I find this way to be a lot faster and cleaner. So once you've made your box, go ahead and select the black brush tool and then brush over this area so it hides this portion of the photo. And I accidentally still had the charcoal pencil selected. So I went ahead and switched to the hard brush. And I'm going to make my brush size bigger by clicking the closing bracket on my keyboard which increases the brush size. And as you guys can see, it only lets me hide the portion that I boxed in which is why I really like to use the marquee tool. And we're just going to continue the same process with these other photos and layer mask them if we need to. There you guys have it, you can now click save as and save it as a JPEG and then it should flatten your photo automatically. 
I'm going to have both these templates available for you guys to download down below in the description box. And one will be the blank template so you guys can add your own marker color to it. And the other one's going to be the red finished marker one in case some of you guys don't have that Kyle's ultimate brush option on your Photoshop version. I hope you guys liked today's video and if you guys don't already follow Bad Boy, I'm going to have his Instagram linked down below so you guys can check out his page and get some inspiration. Bad Boy is an amazing photographer so I do hope you guys check him out. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.